other two people that I met at the con was uh, Judith. I forget her name. Um, her last name, but she was Barbara in the original Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, uh, yeah I know who you're talking about. We're coming to get you, Barbara. Yeah. You know, they were coming. Yeah, so met her. She was an angel. And so she had just had, like, this insane conversation about, like, the galaxy with this uh, girl. And then the girl walks off, and she's like, we lamented on that kind of conversation. Because she's like, that's, um, you know, I don't want to say kids these days are dumb. But, you know, and she's, she made, like, a pretty sweet point, like... And I kind of brought up, like, a counter-argument to it. And so she was, like, really receptive. And she was really sweet. Yeah. But, um... Where she was at with everything was... Uh, she was really sweet. Like, she talked to us. But again, like, you needed the money for... You need to pay the money for her autograph. And so, with What's-His-Face, with, uh... It was 40... It was, like, 20... For uh, the um, for the autograph, twenty for a picture, or forty for like this special uh, extra big picture for him to sign, and you learn the secret handshake, and then you also um, like it was a big thing of like it was everybody together in the picture, and it was just like. I hereby uh, so and so, and you put your name, uh, or it's a put his name, do induct so and so, and it was your name into the secret club, and hereby teach him the secret handshake. Wow. So I I I, I didn't have that kind of bank. Yeah, yeah. Now the other person at at wait. wait here we go. The other person there was um, Doug Jones. Doug Jones. Uh, have you ever seen Hell Hellboy? Yes. He was um, uh, Abraham Sapien. Okay. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yep. Yep. He, yep. he was the lead gentleman. Yeah. I, I, I know who you're talking about. Okay. If if every actor I have ever met, if um my mom met uh Nicholas Sparks like 10 15 years ago, I was still in high school, right? He was so sweet. He talked to my mom for a good 45 minutes. One year later, on her birthday, he just happened to be in there signing autographs. I came in and was just like, hey, um, you probably don't remember me, but I want to get... Yeah, your mom. Terry, how's she doing? You don't remember my mom. You do not remember my mom. Yeah. No, I totally remember. da 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 Are you serious? She goes, yeah, I love your mom. How's your mom? So he signed it for her for her birthday. Um, anyways, if he is a sweetheart, Doug Jones is a damn angel. Yeah. He was just, because I went up to, he was so damn late. He wasn't even there the first damn day. And so we, he was the guy like I was really looking forward to meeting. Because I, I, I respected his work. And, um from the blockbuster buster like the blockbuster buster had a video of him uh where he actually got to meet him and talk to him and like he was so sweet to eric rodriguez on the video i'm like he seems like a really cool person seems like a really cool person does not cover how cool this person is he jumps i i go up to him and i'm like 
dude, like, I, I, I'm gonna let you know up front, and I'm so, so sorry I don't have the $20 for an autograph. Because I had no idea he was Billy from Hocus Pocus. Really? Yes. And I'm like, if I had the money, I would not only be getting autographs for myself, I would also be getting autographs for my sister. Because her favorite movie in the world is Hocus Pocus. And he just... He all but Paul vaulted over the table came over, gave Mama Bear and I a huge hug. Like, he hugged me, he hugged Mama Bear, he hugged us both, and, like, he talked to us for a little bit. And he's like, you know what? Let's do a picture. You want to do a picture? No charge for the picture. Let's get a picture. Whoa! Whoa! That's right. That's what you get for trying to shoot me. But I like shooting him. It's fun. Um, Paul, Paul, talking about people that we've met, um, I've met Markiplier. I, you probably watch him on YouTube. Dude, that, I have so much respect for Markiplier. Dude, he is a tremendously nice guy as well. Like, he, he's a good guy. Markiplier kind of sets... I look up to Markiplier in the sense of my Let's Plays. Markiplier inspired me to do Let's Plays. And... You remember the, uh, the, um, the, like, the, the, the etiquette that I asked you and the rest of our friends, like, hey, let's not say this stuff or that stuff? Yeah. You know, that's actually be, like, outside of myself, and I just don't really dig that kind of stuff, it's yeah. like, Mark, I, I look at that and go, Markiplier doesn't do that kind of crap. And he oh, yeah. is, he has, like, he's awesome, so... It's kind of like he's, he, he sets the standard. He has set a standard that I like to follow. So, like, I, I have nothing but respect for, for Marky. But yeah, dude, he, he is a great... He, he, he's a great dude. Just so nice. Just remember that, man. He, he is. He really, really is. In fact, one of the thing is, like, I had done... If you go to my other uh, YouTube channel... Mm -hmm. Um, I have a bunch of videos where I was just like testing out the technology before I made my JR the ferret you know, all underscore channel. Just yeah. kind of trying to test out the tech and see how it worked. Get something solid before I actually started doing it. My friends were sitting there and they immediately they're going, oh, for you're going kind of like Markiplier. And... While I liked the compliment, at the same time, I was trying to be, like, my own person. And my own stream. I didn't want to just sit there and be like, uh, I didn't want to be like I was copying Mark. And so I was kind of sitting there like, aww, but no! But, you know, so, I, yeah, Mark, he, he, he seems really cool. That, that man has loaded the standard for good let's play. Oh, absolutely. Huh? Ah, oh, damn, that was stupid. <laughs> I just shot an alien as it was running by me, exploded all over me. Um. Uh, he does. He does set that standard. I, I will agree with that. Um, Nico says, I met... Angry Joe, um, what, I can't remember his last name. 
Is other Joe like his friend or his brother? I think they're friends. I, I, I think they're friends. I'm not sure. I, you know, there's not really any confirmation, but I, I think they're they're just friends. <laughs> do what you need to do, other Joe. Do, do I shoot him? Do what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, someone does need to retub to moan. Yes. Now, if you want to talk about, like, other people we've met, I've met uh, Max Brooks. You know who I'm talking about? Uh. He wrote World War Z and the zombie survival guide, Mel Brooks' son. Oh, cool. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's a pretty cool dude. He, you know, he, he, he's a lot like his dad, but he's pretty cool. Um. And I saw Jennifer Aniston once. All right, Olaf. Yeah. So you have literally never played Metal Gear Solid 5? Uh, No. Uh, four is the only game I've ever played to completion. Hold on a second. Uh, I need. We need to give Nico some attention. Hey, Gilders! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to catch me live on Twitch. The link is below. Please stay tuned for the next episode, or if you're looking for something a little different, you can follow the links to the episodes on the left and the right, or you can catch one of my guest streams. See you next time. Like oh yes you do. You have that. <laughs> that is your range. I'm so dead. Darn it! Which one are you? I'm the one losing! Dang it, win! I'm the ugly one! I believe! <laughs> and you?